from African Stars TV. Please like, subscribe, follow to all African Stars content as we stream all the home games live. There was a great, there was a great engagement last time around. People were watching from all, all around the country. So please make sure you tell us where you guys are watching from so we can say hello to you. My name is Emmanuel Inkara and it is African Stars versus Okarara Young Warriors. So just with the starting lineup for African Stars, it is the same lineup from yesterday's game versus the Jolinho Sporting Club and just with Jujia putting that cross in same starting lineup for African Stars De Siro in goal with Handira and Garuka at centre back with Jackson Johannes and Javera at right back Stiga Dion Dennis and Bakonja in the midfield with Jujia on the left the always formidable Kabatu on the right wing and Willy Stefanis will head the line for stars. For the starting lineup for Okarara Young Warriors, we have Nyambe in goal. In the defense we have Hafeni, Rukat, Rukata. We have two win backs in Chirange Kavetuna. And just as young warriors are mounting an attack here, it's deemed to be offside. In the midfield for Okakarara, we have Karuse, Kavera, Michael, the number three, Kauria, and up front we have Edwin Rivaldo and Traverua. So of course this is still an important game for African Stars as Bengals FC did suffer a and the cross comes in and he see it. That's well to keep that ball out. It was a good free kick there from the midfield player of Okakarara. But again, just to mention, Okakarara have not won a game in six games. So they are winless in six. A few draws, but no wins. And they are sitting 14th in the log, so they are slightly suffering relegation at this point in time. So it's going to be a hard task to get some points from the champions with Awilo beating two people. And the ball comes to the goalkeeper. And Kambatu. Kambatu with a speculative shot that hits the side netting. That's the first chance already for Weturu Kambatu, who has 10 goals so far this season with 15 assists. A beautiful professional turn around for a 30 game season so he will be the one to watch every league team in the league knows that Kambatu is the one to watch and he is the one on the play on the ball now and he put the cross in our willow the best one two combination almost working once again with Weturu Kambatu putting in the cross for Willy Stefanis. He just needed to touch it with his left foot. Just didn't get contact and Juja wasn't following up there at the back post but it does lead to a corner so there was perhaps a touch there from one of the Okagara players. 
And here's the corner from Awilo. Saved by the goal kicker Nyambe. And here mounts a counter for Okatanara. Number 13 is Gausip. Passes it to his second end and a pass comes out wide. And to Michael. Gives it off to his number 10. The cross comes in and it might find the hit, but Garuka does well to head it out. Good header there from defensive header there from Slow Poison Javera does well to keep it out. Okagarara okay, is playing with some poise as you can hear the fans. Okagarara okay, fans in the background are screaming for their team. Every touch will be encouraged. But it will be a hard task for the team from Okakarara. Here's Garuka. This is the ball there, but gets it back, showing his toughness. He always likes to make some passes, threading some attacking players. Kambatu beats his man, puts the ball in. Dion Dennis. Almost had a chance there, trying to find another player, but he comes out again for Young Warriors. That is offside. Dion Garosip, the number 13, tried to fit the pass to his number 9, Rivaldo. But rightfully so, offside. Stiger. Awilo. Couldn't find Juja there, but here comes to Ambira with a great display of his chest, but he loses it to Edwin. Rivaldo, and it is deemed to be a good tackle. Garuka, please let us know if all the mic referral sound quality is up to par. We will try to rectify it, but the stadium is packed here in Okahanja, so please bear with us. The visuals are more important than my voice. But it is a game between the top half and the bottom half of the Dead Marine Premiership. Dion Dennis does well to beat his man. He's trying to find a pass. Finds a willow, a willow finds Bakonja. Konja tried to chip it in, but safely away. Come back to doing well there. Dion Dennis. A willow. Jackson Johannes just has his cross blocked away very well there from Dion Garusep. And another timely tackle there from the number three, Michael. Dion Dennis. Foul there to Stars, and these might be the moments. Okokarara might be playing a low block because they know the attacking prowess of the champions. So these plays, these free kicks, these stoppages in play will be timely for the Red Army. It's very hard to break a team that is playing defensive. Oh. 
and it will be a long run up here for Bakonja who is going to hit it with his left he does love that left foot of his let's see what he can do keeps it low and the wall does its job Second corner for the game for African Stars. And it does come in with a good corner. And Ambira does use his head well. And the goalkeeper was slightly impeded there. And he does stay down. Because Ambira did come with a bit of force. So you... So Sitali Nyambe is the player on the ground, the goalkeeper for Ekakarara. And it will be interesting if the substitute goalkeeper Muvanguya will be ravid, will be ready to maybe have his early introduction into the game as Nyambe is receiving treatment. At this point in time, of course, just please like, follow and subscribe to all African Stars content. We stream most of our games, most of the home games, all of the home games, in fact, live. So tell your football friends and family that we are live. And of course, this is an important game, as we know by now that Ongos FC did draw 2-2 two -two versus Tula Tula. earlier on today and of course the game that just ended here at the same stadium it was Okanja United winning 3-2 versus Young Brazilians it seems Sitali Nyambe will be able to continue and he gets the game underway Rivaldo almost getting the ball there, but in the hands of Jisiro. Daruka. Always likes to look for those timely passes. The right side of the field was a danger for the Jalinho Sporting Club yesterday as three goals came from the right flank. Apologies, two goals came from the right flank. Here's Bakonja with a great control. He likes to look, he likes to put his head up and he finds Awilo. Awilo loses the ball angrily but it's done well here by the number 13, Garusep. Dalsip tries to find his striker partner, which he does. And Dion Dennis with a great tackle. And Rukaka, Rukata passes it back to his goalkeeper, who does well to beat Awilo. Awilo will be impressed with those skills. Jackson Johannes losing the ball there, trying to clear the ball, but he loses it to the number seven. And it's now mounted into an attack for Okanara. And out, followed by Jutja. Hafeni, controlling the ball well. Gets it to Umenga. Umenga. Okay, with a good pass. It should have been onside there if it did have some back lift on it, but... Desiro was able to collect easily. Bakonja with a bad pass. Does still get to Dion Dennis and Stiga controls play once again. Hambira. Just trying to look for a few passes. Finds Juja. Jafai is Dion. 
on trying to find Bakonja, but too much of a tight pass there. Kabato with a beautiful turn there, finds the ball to Juja, Juja gets it back to Weturu, safely out there from Afeni. Dion Dennis, Stiga. Juja has space to take a shot, he does, and Nyambe as well to control it with a little bit of flair. Seems to be a goalkeeper that's enjoying his time in his position. So we will keep an eye on this goalkeeper for Okakarara Young Warriors and the Okakarara Young Warriors fans are enjoying that. Let us know where you're watching this live stream from. It's good for our metrics. <laughs> you know how social media works. Stiga Garuka Awilo is impeded and it is a free kick Jackson Joanne is just losing it to the number seven, Travera. And now Willow will have a chance. It's in the corner flag. So he has to be crafty here. He is. And he does find his way to Juja. Juja's left foot doesn't do the job. And Okakarara now can clean up from behind. And go back to the goalkeeper. He needed to be alert there as Juja was mounting pressure and Bira he has time Jackson Johannes wasn't on the same wavelength and it does lead the ball to the striker who's going to take that shot and it's a beautiful save from the zero my goodness what can you say he hasn't conceded in three games since Coach Ronnie Conanello's appointment and the striker, my goodness, Michael Pamu Se Randu, the small man that's playing striker up front, just had a chance to put Okakarara ahead one on one with the goalkeeper. But a beautiful save from Desiro Okambatu. He's in the box, he finds the pass, and Dio Dennis can finish. A tall man like that, maybe he should have slid. Maybe jumped into the opportunity. But we must come back to that opportunity that was for Okakarara. Probably the best opportunity of the game. By Michael Kamuserandu, the number three. So he will be looking at himself and saying, wow, I could have put my team ahead. Substitution. Substitution for stars it seems to be an injury but Bakonja will be leaving the pitch for Aubrey so an early substitution for African stars as Bakonja leaves the pitch for Aubrey the number 15 that's a foul given to stars As we speak, stars are ahead. If the game does end like this, stars will have 48 points, two points ahead of Ongos FC. But Ongos FC does have one game ahead. Remember, Ongos FC does play African stars later on in the league. I believe it is the last game for both teams in the league table, the 30th game. So, my goodness, 
what can we say will happen in that last game? Will the league be done? Or will that be a title decider? Whether I'm commentary, whether I am on commentary, I will be watching that game live wherever it is. Tuja. Are we low? Try to chip his player, but... Dangerous tackle there from Karure. My apologies, that was the number 10, Chirange, who was fighting with, Stiga, with Awilo. Didn't give the referee any questions as it was not a foul. Here's Aubrey having his first touches of the game. Ambira back to his goalkeeper. Garuka Garuka always loves to have those marauding runs and he does look for the pass he had two of those same types of passes in the previous game yesterday which led to two goals so he's definitely involved in the two assists that Weturu Kambatu had against Jolinho Sporting but that pass there really not on par with what he did yesterday so maybe Kambatu just has to have a word with him and say let's communicate in a different way it's the guy with that header and here comes Afeni and it's a foul on Shiverwa number seven Severua and Edwin Rivaldo are the two strikers, the number seven and the number nine. And of course, the man that missed the all important chance, he's still holding his face in his jersey right now, Michael Kamu Sirandu. But here comes the free kick from the number 10, and it's a good one. Good free kick there from Chirange, but not finding anyone. It's very odd to see a number 10 player. Chirange is the number 10 that is playing for Kakarara Young Warriors. He's playing a right back. Seems to me that he's influenced by William Gallas, and it's an opportunity there. It's a chest down, and it's deemed to be offside. My goodness. Miscommunication between the gap between Ambira and Jackson Johannes as Chivero almost chested it down for Edwin Rivaldo to put it in the back of the net, which he did. Unfortunately, we don't have VAR to see these offsides, but technically, Okakarara Young Warriors have had two of the best opportunities in the game so far. So, a little bit alarming here for the Red Army. Just a foul there on Ngaruka. And for a team that has conceded most of the goals, Okakanara have had most of the opportunities here in this game. But here comes Stars with Chuja. Jackson Johannes, you will hit it with that left foot. He's waiting to do it, and he does. He finds that cross, but safely in the hands of the artist, Sitali Nyambe, the goalkeeper from Young Warriors. He is an artist. I mean, the crowd here in Okaanja want the ball to be passed to him. It's very odd, but it's quite entertaining. Here's Chi Vera. And here it goes, maybe to the goalkeeper. And here it is. Everybody's watching now. He's trying to get the ball away from <laughs> Willy Stefanis, which he does. An attack mounting there, but Karuka will clean up well. That does go to Desiro, and it's a little bit tight. They need to be clear there. But slow poison 
cleans up with Aubrey and back to Javera he is Awilo Ambira Jackson Johannes finds Dion Dennis who's come out wide from this midfield good turn from the tall man Stiga Garuka is probably going to look for those balls again and Aubrey just left it he probably thought that Kambatu was connecting with that pass but it was meant for Aubrey and it is a water break in these scorching temperatures here in Namibia Okahanja so let us know what you where you are watching from we are looking at the comments now as there is a water break so some people are watching from single quarters Vintuk Omaruru, everything is fine except your bias commentary. If you can improve the department, we are good. I got you. ML. <laughs> Stars all the way. Watching from Amaruru again. Yes, we are live. Watching from Australia. Wow, that's great. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Pronounce the names of the players correctly. Yes, I shall improve with that. Watching from... Rukana, great. Watching from Okakarara, yes. Your team has been doing well lately. They've had two of the best opportunities in the game. So, well done to the young warriors so far. Watching from Valvus Bay, Sir Rocky, Opuo, the UK, wow. Why was Bakonja subbed? I believe it was a little bit of an injury. He went off jogging gingerly so it might be an injury watching from the uk Groot fontaine watching from south africa johannesburg botswana wow valves bay again and from ochivango uk england and oshakati and as the game continues thank you all for watching and to the guy that said i'll pronounce the names i will pronounce the names correctly <laughs> perhaps you can help me in the comments if i really really mess up so zero zero in this game obviously that was the 23rd minute for the water break so halfway through the first half and again, it must be said, Okagarara has had the two best opportunities. They did put the ball in the back of the net, which was deemed to be offside. So it is a good watch here as the team in 14th place is giving African Stars a little bit of a headache here. And Stars maybe are looking at the log and saying, wow, Ongos FC, you don't want to win the league. Okay, we will win the league. But... I'm sure Ongos FC fans are watching this live stream right now wondering how this game will end. Stefanis putting in the tackles there. Chiverua does well, but Stefanis gives it to Dion Dennis. And Dion Dennis uses his pace, but a very good tackle there from the number 10, Chirande. Again, a uh, right back that's playing number 10. He must have paid for his jersey. I used to play football back in the day, and if you gave money to the jersey, you would get that jersey. Although I always like to play with the number 8, uh, honoring Andres Iniesta, Stefanos, Chidja. Dion Dennis, he has the opportunity to shoot, but he gives it off to Kambatu. Here's Aubrey. Number two. Look at the foul and wow. It looked to be a l just outside the box. And I'm sure you can see in the camera how the lines are set up. It is right on the corner of the box. Absolutely on the nail on the corner. 
a few steps forward and Kambatu might have had a penalty. Sometimes it's really odd if fouls are given at that corner and a penalty is given, but it's right at the corner and Aubrey and Kambatu will be the two players that would want to throw it in this cross. Maybe not a cross for a header. Might be a shot on goal if a left-footed player could be very... It's a tight angle. It seems to be Kambatu just with a little bit of a chip and a good header out. And it is Chiverwa putting the pass here to Edwin Rivaldo. Rivaldo does well. The chip there from the midfield player, but Stiga does well to keep it out. And uh, just, I'm sure you can see in our pictures that the goalkeeper once again has gone down. I'm not too sure what happened during that free kick, but he might have been impeded, slightly impeded. And uh, our medical staff there from Okakalara is uh, making her way quickly, making her, her way quickly to uh, <laughs> sarcasm to the injured Sitali Nyambe. Hopefully he can stay in the game because he is one that has entertained the crowd so far. Let us know where you're watching from. What are your comments so far in the game? I'm sure you might have seen me in your picture just now. I see one comment saying, Nyambe, please. Yes. We want him to continue. And he does continue. So the game will continue. Score update. It is 0-0. Zero, zero. And it is around the 30th minute in the game. Still the first half. 30th minute in the game. And it's still 0-0 zero, zero between African Stars and Okakarara Young Warriors. Here's Tiga finding Aubrey. Aubrey gives some grass to Juja, but Juja wasn't able to get that ball. Here's the man that almost scored, Michael. Here he is again trying to get it from Stiga. Stiga does well. Dion Dennis does better. What a good hit. Clearance there, but Dion Dennis might get that ball again. He's tall. He's tall. But it wasn't deemed to be a clear chance for African stars as he did impede the number 10. Chirange did just enough to keep Dion Dennis on his toes. And that was deemed to be a foul by the number 17, Dion Dennis. He scored in his last game, so that was his first goal. So he is a player that is slightly on form. He keeps his place in the starting lineup. And almost giving Stars the upper hand in this game. Edwin Rivaldo almost getting that header, but safely away by the two center backs of stars here's Aubrey he can look up he finds Juja Juja is being followed by his defender and he does well that's Rukata the number 18 and Rukata is beaten by Aubrey and Aubrey puts the cross in but headed out by Hafeni Stefanus. Jackson Johannes finds Dion Dennis. What can he do? He does a step over. He puts it in. And a safe header out. 
for a corner day from uh, Philly. And it is a corner to Stars. The pressure might be mounting and Dion Dennis is at the center of that pressure so far in this game. Out from Michael. Almost caught there from Kaurua. And a timely... Oh my goodness! A beautiful goal! see in our pictures, you probably cannot see in our pictures, but the goalkeeper Nyambe is celebrating at the halfway line. It was a mistake from Garuka who made a crossfield pass right in front of his box. It seemed to be very easy. And Tisiro was off his line, way off his line. And the number seven Travi Rua Travi Rua the number 7 putting it in the back of the net from way out he just basically chipped it in because the goalkeeper was way off his line 1-0 no to the relegation team interesting so ladies and gentlemen please tell your football friends and family that the Dead Marine Champions in the 35th minute Chirua, the number 7 has scored for Okakarara Young Warriors So now it is a game to pay attention to as, of course, the champions would not want to lose this game after many results have gone in their favor with Thomas Nampo drawing yesterday against Okahanja United and Ongos FC losing and drawing in their last two games. A loss here versus the number 14th team in the league will be devastating. Here's Aubrey. Jackson Johannes apologies and Jackson Johannes just gives it back to the artist Sitale Nyambe and there he shows his uh, his artwork the referee is looking at him he's probably a great time waster and he just kicks the ball out and he goes down again this is great tactics, I believe, from this goalkeeper, Sitale Nyambe, who was born in 1995, so he is, uh, I'm not a mathematician, but I believe he is 29 years old, 1995, is that correct? Yeah, I think so, right? He's on the floor again. So... He had enough energy to celebrate, but he does find himself on the floor once again. So added on time will be quite lengthy in this game. It is the around the 37th minute, just maybe 10 minutes to half time here, and it is 1-0 to Okakarara Young Warriors, the goal scorer, the number seven. Virua. Chav Virua. Apologies. Headed out there from Edward. And stars will mount an attack, but again. Losing the ball to these throw-ins. 
and Okakara are comfortable in their play. It has been a very good game by the young Warriors. They haven't been frightened by anything. Only Dion Dennis may be having the one chance in the game for Stars. But in total, shots on target and attempts still with the away side. Ball is rolling, so it has to be retaken. Here's Aubrey. Willis Stefanes, he will try to get that, but safely way, way out from Afeni. The ball does come in there from Stefanes, but it's too outside the box. Dion Dennis. Jackson Johannes. Dennis. Juja. Awilo. Good work there for Mafemi. Very good defender, this number 15, Polis Afeni. He's not the tallest of the centre backs, but he's done well so far, Polis Afeni. Yes. Javera, slow poison with a speculative shot, but. He gives a free ball to the homes surrounding this Naura Stadium here in Okahanja. Here's Afeni. And he finds his number 10, Chirange. Just a little bit of some nibbles there. Garusep couldn't get that ball. And the referee is talking to Garusep, the number 13, for Young Warriors. Juja, can he control that? He does. He finds Kambatu. Kambatu chips it for Juja. But Chirange will safely clear that. Quick throw in. You can feel the urgency here for the Stars players now. And Kambatu is playing more centrally. That is a foul, which is interesting. Didn't seem like that from my view. And the Young Warriors players also having some disagreements with the referee. But it's interesting that Kambatu has come more centrally as well as he's done 10 goals and 15 assists so far for what Weturu Kambatu he doesn't really do so from the middle of the pitch he's really a traditional winger he really reminds me of Federico Chiesa from Juventus and it is Kambatu and all Awilo standing at this free kick. Paulo Safeni is rallying the troops. He does have the captain's armband, so it is the captain Awilo. Just wide to the left. And Sitale Nyambe will take his time to, of course, give this ball back into play. Chest day from Stiga. And here it is with Michael. Stiga does well to fight it off Michael, but Michael does give it to Rivaldo. Rivaldo tested it, but Johannes clears it, trying to find Awilo, but away from Tirange. Perhaps five minutes left, the 40th minute here. The referee will have his added on time, of course. And again, almost a, a interesting pass to Ngaruka, almost getting caught out again from the goal scorer. 
Tavero almost catching Garuka out again in almost the same position in which he scored. So those passes between Hambira and Garuka need to be cleaned out as the goal did result from that, but the corner comes in, Chucha! Beautiful block, beautiful block by the number 18, Rukata. Rukata with a timely block there. Aubrey will try to bring it back in and he does. It finds Kambatu who is now on the left flank. He can't really use his left foot, so he does have to go to his right. And the number 10, the playmaker playing number playing right wing. Tirange does give a corner to Stars and the referee is just trying to have a word with Kambatu. Ah, just telling him that the ball needs to be on the chalk of the corner circle. Oturu puts it in Dion Dennis. Most of the opportunities have fallen to Dion Dennis. He is probably Star's most active attacking player so far in this game. Stiga fighting hard with Vivaldo. Still fighting and Stiga wins that battle. Paulus. Afeni just boots it out. That's what a captain does. The centre back for Okagarara. Obri. Obri will try again here. Gives it to Javera Awilo. That cross was trying to find Kambatu and did it. Michael chips it on. Is the number 20. Kauriyas putting pressure to Isiro and the ball comes right almost next to me. Don't worry, I have my gum guard on so even if it hit me in the face, my teeth would not be knocked out so the ball does get given back. Here's the playmaker, the right back playmaker Chirange with the throw in, finding Kauriya. Loses it out. Kambatu. Awilo. Awilo will try to beat his man, but another great tackle from the number 18. Rukata, and he's injured himself, unfortunately. He has injured himself, unfortunately. The number 18, Rukata. And it doesn't look good for him. He did have an easy tackle. It seemed, I did not see that, I, I did just have a look away and it was a tackle from Kambatu. So Kambatu is in the book of the referee. Just rewind maybe 30 seconds just to see what happened there. Apologies, I did not see it live but it seems to be a rough tackle which is maybe uncharacteristic from Weturu Kambatu. Kambatu. But Rukata is able to continue as he jogs off. But that is a yellow card to the man on the ball now. Good tackle out there from Karua. <laughs> Foul to Young Warriors. <laughs> Free kick taken here by the playmaker, the right back playmaker. Tirange headed out from Johannes Kambato. Mm -hmm. 
and that is half time. So one no to the 14th team in the Demarine Premiership beating the Demarine Champions African Stars. Very, very interesting here at the Okanja Stadium. So please stay tuned to the next 45 minutes. We will have the stream up as the game does start in the second half. Wow. One no to Okakarara Young Warriors. See you soon.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the live stream of the African Stars YouTube channel and live on Facebook at African Stars Soccer Club. So please like, subscribe, follow, give your comments of what has transpired in the first 45 minutes. Let us know what you believe will be the end result because it is African Stars 0 Okakarara Young Warriors 1 well they have not won yet but in the next 45 minutes it will be important for the champions of the Dipmarine Premiership to get a important result which will mean so much for the log table just a substitution as we see it happen here for African Stars. I believe the numbers will be shown shortly. The Okakarara Young Warriors team seems to be the exact same, but it is. Joseph Juja leaving the pitch for Herald Gossip. So Herald Gossip will be coming on for Juja as the game begins. Herald Gossip will be playing left wing and Kambatu will go back to his more comfortable role as right winger is Javera finding Aubrey Javera slow poison Kambato Aubrey Awilo Kambato he has grass to play with he has grass to play with too much on that cross for either of the attacking players, especially the tall man Dion Dennis. Dion Dennis, who probably has been the best attacking player so far in this game, had a great opportunity, what was deemed to be a foul, when he was marauding towards the goal of the artist Sitale Nambe. I feel that we must say his full name as he has given the crowd some entertainment in that first 45. Let's see what antics he can get up to in the next 45 minutes. It would be great if he could go home today saying he did not concede a goal versus the champions. Here's Gossip and loses it out to the tackle of the right back playmaker Tirange which results in a corner for Stars. Let us know where you're watching from. Share with your friends, your football friends and family. Tell them that, guys, African Stars is losing. But maybe the Red Army can rectify that in the next few minutes with a Willow giving that cross. Aubrey has a chance to shoot. And it is a handball. And one of the Young Warriors players is on the on the floor and it seems to be a little bit of a, a head injury which is concerning and we do have our very very nimble medical staff making her quick way to the assistance of the player and as you can see in our picture the artist Nyambe is uh, performing for the crowd the goalkeeper there that's what he does Look at him, look, look at him go.
And as I see your comments, yes, boys, we need one more goal just to save us. To save us, we need a win. Six points would be a great win as, of course, we are on top of the log, but only with one point. And Ongos FC does have a game in hand. So if Ongos do win their game in hand, they will go to 49, which will be two points ahead of us, African Stars. So a win is paramount, especially against a team that is in 14th place. Stiga caught out there from Good play there from both teams. Umenga puts it down on his chest, but it does go out for a throw in. Kavetuna could not keep it out. Kavetuna, the left back for Okokarara, will have a great task to try and keep out Kambato. And Stefanis does get caught out by the captain, Polos Afeni. Javera with the throw in. Aubrey. Kambato. Fouled. Fouled by Kauria. Kauria is still arguing with the ref. Doesn't like that the foul was given. Still arguing with the linesman there. The number 20 Kauria. But Kambato will have an opportunity to put the ball into. And what's interesting, the linesman is telling the player to to move backwards, and that's definitely further than 10 paces. And safely headed out there. And was given as a foul on Rukata. Good showing by the defensive line of Okakarara. It must be said, they have done very well to keep out the attack of Stars. Good footwork there from Garusep. Kambato. Garusep. He beats Garusep. Kambato finds Awilo. Ah. Awilo tried to beat Chirange, but Chirange was smarter than him. Chirange is the playmaker of the team. He has the number 10 jersey as a right back. It reminds me of William, William Gellas. If anyone knows another defensive player that had the number 10 jersey, let me know. I can only remember William Gellas. The ball comes in. Dion Dennis with the clipping header, but safely away from... Kavetuna Obri Javera Finding Javera uh, Stefanis Kauria Kambatu Very well done there from Umenga. Chirange almost finding Michael, but safely caught out there from Johannes. And Johannes giving a very bad pass back to Chirange, but Chirange wastes the opportunity to mount another attack for young warriors. Here's Tiga. Aubrey gets the ball as the crowd was shouting for him to get the ball. He does again. And he gives it to Kambatu, which is too much. Too much for Weturu. Here's Afeni. Just kicks it upfield. Sometimes a touch finder is good enough. Touch finders are in rugby, but it gives the players some release of pressure. And here is Ambira. Ambira trying to find Gasip who came on for Juja. 
at the halfway mark. Captain Afeni. Here's Kaurea. Kaurea with a quick feet. Johannes gets it back. That's it. Awilo. That's it. He's fast. He puts it back into the box. And Kambatu used, tried to use his feet to get that ball in. That's what the head is for. That is what the head is for. Kambatu had a clear opportunity to just diving header into the box, but the ball went wide. But a great cross there from the substitute. Head out. Gossip. Dion Dennis now. Fouled. Just a reminder that the goal scorer was the number seven for Okakara Young Warriors, Chai Verua. So he is one to watch. Stars wouldn't want him to repeat or add to his goal line tally. Here's Dennis. Awilo. Dion Dennis. He was looking for Kambatu there, but the communication just wasn't mounting. And the artist, Nyambe, again giving the crowd something to entertain themselves with. Here's Afeni, the captain, trying to find Kaurua, but too much on that pass, but very commanding defender there, Paulus Afeni, the number 15, at centre-back. Aubry. That's well with that run, but it is a yellow card now to the number 6, Festus Kai Vara. So two yellow cards so far in this game, one for Weturu Kambato and another one now on the foul on Aubrey Festus Kai Vara and just gives African Stars another opportunity to do something, something. I'm sure Dion Dennis would be the one to look for the tallest man for African stars and Garuka, the strongest man in the league will maybe want to also have a bite at this free kick but Kambatu could take a shot he does curl it in and a beautiful save for an attempted header by Sitali Nyambe to the delight of the crowd here in the Nawab Stadium in Okanja. They really love this guy. Hambira with a head on, just finding Paulus Afeni. And out by G. The Tuna. Here is Rivaldo. Umanga. Here's Michael. Michael does well to beat. Dion Dennis, he finds his player again, but Chivatuna losing the ball. Almost went to Kambatu. But Kavetuna just lets back here. Again, a very good showing by the back four. Chirange at right back. Paulus Hafeni and Rukata along with the left back Kavetuna have done very well, very, very well to keep this African Stars back forward line at bay. And here is Kavetuna with the throw in. Here's Michael. Shot from far, but that's how it happens. You don't score if you do not take shots. 
Dion Garusep just taking a shot there, but a little bit of a trip there from Ambira, almost gave it to Edwin Rivaldo. There was a little bit of a mix-up in the first goal. African Stars wouldn't want another mix-up to result in a damaging, almost game-changing second goal for Okakarara Young Warriors. Gasep, he's quick. And that is a goal kick to Okakarara Young Warriors. And again, again, the star man of the show, Sitali Nyambe, he didn't even touch the ball in that play. He didn't even get to touch the ball in that play. And he's down on the pitch. And again, the very quick and nimble medical staff of Okakarara Young Warriors makes her quick way to Nyambe. I, I, what, what more can I say but a crafty tactic here by <laughs> Okakarara Young Warriors. I'm not accusing them of anything, but it has been a spectacle <laughs> for us all here in the stadium to watch this goalkeeper go down and have the very nimble and quick medical staff make her way to aid him. Uh, the referee did look at his watch and say we are going to add on time so it will be interesting to see how much added on time there is in this game. It's around the 60th minute so share with your football friends and family and tell them guys African Stars is losing. To very interesting how this game does play out in the end. Here is the artist. He wants to play football with Kambatu, just giving some pressure. And uh, wow, it's it's you don't see you don't see a referee, a, a, a goalkeeper get cheers with falling on the ball that often. But this goalkeeper has put on a show. I'm sure that will make social media as Sitale Nyambe has really put on a entertaining show from his goalkeeping position. But back to the game. Cross trying to find Michael. Gausset was caught there and that is a yellow card. I saw that. I saw that live. That's a bad tackle. That's a bad tackle. And the player that receives that yellow card, it's a red card. It's a red card. It's a red card. My goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, the number six, Festus Caivera, has received his second yellow. He has received his second yellow. That is a red card for the number six. Wow, interesting. It was a yellow card tackle. I can confirm that I saw that live. So now it is 10 men. The 10 men of Okarara Young Warriors up against the Demarine champions. And it is 1-0 to the Young Warriors. This changes a lot in this game. Let's see how it unfolds. That's a foul on Garusip. And as the rain falls down, there is a chance here for Okagarara to put it in the box. It finds Rivaldo. Rivaldo does put it in the box, but finds nobody. That's what happens when you're down to 10 men. And African Stars now will need to mount multiple attacks. There's Gossip. He's a quick one. He does well and he wins the foul. Very well done from Herald Gossip, the substitute who came on at the 45th minute. He's done very well on that left flank since he's come on. Of course, he was the player that was tackled, that got the red card, and now he gets another good free kick for African Stars as the rain pours down here in Okahanja. Sorry, this game is so hot. I will have an opportunity to 
to look at your comments. Because comes in it's a header for Mambira. And that is a goal for Charles Hambira. Wow. And just as the rain started to pour down, and just as the red card was given to the number six Festus Caivera, African Stars have equalized a free kick won by Gerald, Gerald Gausep, who has done well on that left flank since coming on. And Awilo puts it in for Charles Hambira to get his goal. I will confirm to you how many goals Hambira does have. I believe it's his first goal of the season. So well done to Charles with the equalizer. Substitution for African stars. Dion Dennis has left the pitch. And Paulus, the number 11, has entered the fray. But here's Gausep again on that left flank. The game is in African Stars' hands now as Young Warriors are down to 10 men. It might, that red card might have taken the fight out of the Young Warriors. But now Stars can eat at the table. Here's Aubrey. Foul. And uh, a frustrated, frustrated Kaive Tuna kicks the ball. Apologies, it wasn't Kaive Tuna, it was Garusip. He doesn't get a yellow card for that, the number 13. But I'm sure the young Warriors players will be frustrated as their man was given a red card. And they seem to be losing this game. It's around the 65th minute. Around the 65th minute to the 70th minute of this game. So around 20 to 25 minutes. And of course, we will have loads of added on time. Here's Paulus, the man that just entered the fray. He gets tackled while there from Karua. But he loses it to Javera. Aubrey. Paulus. He puts it in the box. Trying to find Gossip. Who was mounting a volley and it hit his player, hit the Young Warriors player and it is a foul for Okagarara. We see your comments, why is the referee allowing the goalkeeper to do that? It's, it's, it's actually allowed. It's, if, if the ball is in play, the ball is in play. Oh, watching from Etosha. Another foul there on Aubrey from Garusep, who has been talking to the referee a few times now, so there might be a yellow card soon for the number 13 for Okakarara. Here he is again, Garusep. He does well now. Finds Rivaldo. Rivaldo finds Kauria. Kauria back to Rivaldo. Rivaldo loses it almost. And Aubrey gets the ball and finds Polis. The substitute. Polis finding Awilo. Awilo finding Kambatu. Kambatu does kick it, but it's a very good tackle. Very good tackle there from Rukata. Awilo with the shot wide. What's that? What's that with the blue? What's that? What's that? Let's go. Stars to capitalize maximum points. Yes, maximum points is needed. Remember, it's 1 1. And 
Katarara Young Warriors do have a red card. So in the next, in the last 30 minutes, and loads of added on time, African Stars will need to get that winning goal. Watching from Ongo Diva. I'm from Ongo Diva. I'm from Hanover. How is it there? Watching from Ochifan. Can't pronounce that. Watching from Katimo. Katima Melilo. A very good, a very good friend of mine is from there. So, cheers to you, sir. Square. Watching from Vanaeda. We see you guys. We see you guys. It's one one. There's a red card to Okakarara, so it's crunch time now for the champions. Ongos FC have done what they've done. Let's see if the Red Army can get the all-important three points. Awilo. He's going to find Javera on the right wing. No, he doesn't use him. He comes back to Aubrey. Aubrey finds Paulus, but it's caught out by Hafeni. Here's Garusep. Garusep is a little bit clipped, but it's not a foul. Play continues. Here's Aubrey. hard tackle. Very interesting tackle there from Hafeni. Hafeni says, I got the ball. The captain, Paulus Hafeni. He's a small man, but he's very commanding. He throws the ball up in disgust at the referee's decision to give that a foul, but it was a foul. Watching from Chris Brook, watching from Okakarara. Ah, your team. You must talk to your team, my, my man. Free kick for African stars. Dino, you must talk to your team. Huh? The guy got the red card. Festus, number six. Caivera. He has put his team in a compromising position and it is a willow with a free kick. They scored a free kick. Oh! And Charles wants to score a brace. Very good header there, but just too much on the ball from Charles Ambira, who wanted to have a brace in this game. He scored his first goal today, so he wants to add to that tally once again. Wow, wow, it's, 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 it's absolutely, it's absolutely, you can see it in your picture right now, ladies and gentlemen, watching live. Sitali, Sitali Nyambe has gone down again. And I think, okay, I'm not going to speculate. Now, now look, now, now look, let's, let's, let's pan to our medical staff making her way. Let's not judge her, but. She needs to make it all the way, all the way to Nyambe, and um, and um, I think Nyambe is done. He has taken off both of his gloves, maybe just one of his gloves. I think perhaps he was playing with an injury. Let's not speculate any time-wasting tactics. He was playing, maybe he was playing with a. It looks to be his groin. He looks to be looking, pointing at his groin. But, um, wow, it's a uh, beautiful tactics. And, and somebody asked in the, in the comments, how can the referee allow this? It's technically not time wasting. If you go down signaling that you are injured, the referee can't come to you and say you are time wasting. You are deliberately time wasting. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a tactic that I haven't seen before ever, ever, like ever. Um, even in world football so interesting developments here I mean football there's a first time for everything in football and the referee has gone down to the medical staff on the touchline and the referee is vigorously talking to the medical staff maybe telling them that if this man is injured he must come off um, but he continues wow he continues Sitale uh, Nyambe for those who are watching, if there's any journalists watching, 
um, interview this man when you have the chance. He's a character. He's a character for sure. The game continues. 1-1. One, one. African Stars versus Okakarara Young Warriors. I can't even speculate how many minutes are left in this game because there might be 20 minutes added on. Garusep doing defensively very well there for Young Warriors. The ball's given to Paulus quickly. The cross comes in. Another chance! And it's a foul! That is what happens! stars that is what happens when you time waste that is what happens when you are not concentrated it was a quick a quick play between Javera and Polis here on the right flank just right in front of us in the right corner of the field and that cross was so educated from the number 11 Polis who gets a handshake from Kambato and a man that we will probably interview after the game. Herald Garus apologies. Herald Gasset, the number 23, makes it 2 1 to African Stars. Amazing. The cross comes in too Okagala, but too much for Kaurua to do anything on that cross. Wow. The rain has the rain has slightly stopped here in Okanja so the wind is slightly picking up. But it's still playable conditions. You can now tell your football friends and family that African stars have come back from one no down to lead two one. But remember, Okakarara Young Warriors have had a red card, so they are down to 10 men. Here's Michael. Finding the playmaker. See Range. Michael again. Here's Kambato. Finding Polis again on this right flank. He's done well. The number 11 for stars coming on. Both players. Polis and Gasset. Two substitutes. Giving stars the all-important leading goal. So coach Ronnie Canalello will be happy that both of his substitutions have been involved in both goals. Of course, it was Awilo's assist from a free kick that Charles Hambira did score technically, but the free kick was won by Herald Gasset. And Gasset has given Stars the 2-1 advantage. Disiro. Hambira. Johannes. Cleared. Trying to find the quick man Gasset. Who will add some pressure and he does. Almost winning the ball there. And Nambe finds, almost finds his playmaker. Very well done there from Michael just getting tackled but still winning the throw in for young warriors. And it will be the playmaker, the number 10, the right back. Tirange puts it in the box. And it looked like the players from Young Warriors were looking at a handball. It didn't look like a handball to me. But Kambatu gives it now to Herald Kasset. Kambatu gets the ball back. And wins the foul. And to the 
to the outrage of the Okakarara Young Warriors players. It's a very good setup free kick here for stars. They would want to give the team a 2 0 goal advantage just to close out this game, which was tough in the first half. I can say that, from my view, the dugout of the Young Warriors team is arguing vigorously with the sideline referees. Maybe stating that these fouls are too much. They are ex absolutely irate at the dugout. But here's Kambato. Aye, it's over. Mutu, Mutu, we are waiting for you. Kambatu Devon definitely didn't make use of that free kick but maybe Mutu will be substituted on but it's very still close but of course Okakarara is down to 10 men so maybe Ronnie Kananelo will be thinking let's just be safe but Mutu is a very good target man very big very tall he might change the aspect of the defense for Okakarara so to bring more play to the forward line for stars, so Mutu is a good option. Ambira. Kambato, who's playing more centrally now. Gasep. Gasep doesn't beat Chirange. Chirange clears. Substitutions for both teams here. The number 20 for Okagara Kaoria coming off for the number 19, Hambu. Hambu is an attacker, so Okagara may be seeing still some attacking play in their, in their spirit. And a substitute for African stars. It will be Kambatu coming off for Maharero. Maharero will jot into that central def midfield. More of a defensive player. So, Remy Canalero, coach Remy Canalero, maybe just wants to close out the game. And of course, Coach Kachimune for Okagara Young Warriors making that attacking change so maybe they still see some hope to get the equalizer. Here's the new man, Ambu, finding Rivaldo. Amazing play there from Herald. Amazing play. He gets the yellow card for Chirange. Chirange has a yellow card. We will definitely try to interview Herald Kasip after this game as he has played very, very well after coming into the game at the 45th minute. Star stay stars indeed. We're watching from from the hospital in Katatura. My goodness, wow. I hope everything is okay with you in the hospital. Speedy recovery. But a very topsy turvy game here. A red card. A team in 14th scoring the first goal in the game and African Stars coming back from behind to be winning now 
is quite it's quite a game to watch watching from Havana City yeah. is that Havana City in uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, South America was Havana it's Cuba so you so you're watching from Cuba there's, there's a slight injury here that's actually really really concerning apologies ladies and gentlemen I should be talking about this Herald Gossip who I would have loved to actually interview after this game uh, needs a stretcher uh, I saw that tackle happening it was a clipped as he was trying to jump it did clip his left ankle or his right ankle I believe and he has stayed down since then so the number 23 Gerald Kassip might have to be substituted here it's really unfortunate I would have loved to speak to the young man he has really added he has really added so much in this game in the second half for African Stars and unfortunately he will be leaving and I can see his face and it doesn't look too good. I really really hope he's okay. He did very well in this game. He changed the game for Stars. We, I will get that comment from Ronnie Cananello after the game. But uh, unfortunately, Gerald Gasset does leave the game. We will confirm who will be the player joining the game, but rightfully so, Mutu should be that player that does join. Awilo. Mahero. Garuka fighting Ambira. Jackson Johannes Maharero Awilo oh, Maharero finds Javera slow poison uh -huh. Slow poison Maharero oh, He doesn't see his player coming back behind him The new man Hambu Hambu is pressuring but it finds its way back to Javera who gives up tries to find the cross but Hafeni does well as captain to clean up and I can say the ball is a throw in to African stars Orange Army for life yes your supporters were here they were very interested in the game you guys were leading in the first half but the red card really changed the game and that is a foul on Willy Stefanus and the young Warriors players really disappointed with how many fouls have been given against them but Awilo is down legitimately I can confirm that Herald is off the stretcher, so he's still lying down. Uh, African Stars are down to 10 men at this point in time. They're still playing with 10 men. So, Ronnie Canelo is maybe taking his time to make the substitution for Gasset, who probably will not join this game. But it is a free kick, and the linesman is <laughs> linesman is arguing with uh, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. She's counting to twelve, I believe. That's yeah. Uh, yeah she is. Uh, Dion <laughs> Gossip is actually pointing at ten. She counted twelve. I, I also counted twelve. It's actually supposed to be ten paces. Um, maybe it has changed to twelve. Uh, I know it as 10 but free kick nonetheless Javera 
will keep it in the corner. It is the closing stages of the game, but maybe Stars do want to look for that third goal just to really close out this game. Okakarara have made an attacking substitution with Hambu, this left back, the 19, in your picture. So there might be hope. Hambu with the header, but Stiga cleans up well. Garuka, back to Disiro. Maharero, Stiga. Javera. Afeni does well to keep that out, but it's offside. Either way. Ball was rolling, so it needs to be retaken. Chirange. Finding Michael. Karisip loses it out to Polis. But Awilo cannot collect. That's a throw in to Young Warriors. Rukata. Chirange back to Rukata. Finding Garisip. Garisip runs in the middle. Does well and wins the foul. The spirit is still there. The spirit is still there in Okakarela Young Warriors. They are playing well and they have been eight minutes. It is officially the 90th minute. And I can see at the dugout, the touchline dugout, that eight minutes have been added to the game. Eight minutes. So count your watches, ladies and gentlemen. Eight minutes from now, the game will be over. Free kick taken from Karise. Tisiro does save that. And recollects safely in front of Rivaldo, who was looking to pressure. Here's Garuta. That's a foul on Garuka. And Garuka is putting his way back up, but he's the strongest man in the league, so he will not go off of injury. I believe the African Stars have made all their substitutions, which means they are playing with 10 men. That is quite a interesting development. So ladies and gentlemen, this is 10 versus 10 here. Herald Kasset, who has scored what could be the winning goal to make it 2-1, has gone off with an injury. And there are no some more substitutions for stars to make, so it is 10 versus 10. And that is the hope that Okakarara has to maybe score an equalizer. But here's Paulus finding so poison Javera. He tries to tip out at Paulus. Nyambe just came through and did enough to kick the ball off. And Paulus is still down on the floor, maybe taking a little bit of a clip from the goalkeeper. But here's Ambu. Ambu trying to find Michael, but the ball finds. The ball finds Disiro. And the referee signals for Paulus to get some medical assistance. So as it stands, African Stars, if they close this game out, will have 50 points. And the second team in the log, Ongos FC, will have 46 points.
but Ongos FC do have a game in hand and of course in third is Komas Nampo with 42 points so the league is really stretching out the top three are really starting to show their true colors I see one of your comments saying please rep please replace Kasip I believe all the substitutions have been made so uh, Paulus the assist maker for the second goal has now also gone off so that will mean that African stars are down to nine men which is quite incredible The head coach of Okakarara Young Warriors, Katimune, will be maybe licking his lips in these last five, six minutes to say, if Polis cannot come back, then African stars are down to nine men. Maybe let's have one more opportunity. But Polis has returned the number 11, and it is back to 10 versus 10. Corner for African stars. Please write our players' names correctly, boss. I understand. I am a man of I am a man of certain linguistics. Ochairero, Ochairero is really not one of them, but I try where I can. Yes, Afeni. Lukata Chirange puts it in for Rivaldo. Rivaldo doing well to put the defense of Stars under alert, but away from Janus. But it finds the playmaker again. Garisip finds Rivaldo, finds Michael. Chirange takes the shot. And it has seemed to have taken a deflection, so that is a corner for Okakarara Young Warriors. These are the opportunities that they need to take the Yellow Army. These are the opportunities in these closing stages of the game, what, me, what maybe seems to be five to three minutes, three to five minutes, I should say. These are the opportunities that might be telling for the team in 14th place to find their equalizer. It is 10 men versus 10 men. A red card for Okakarara and an unfortunate injury with no substitutions left for African stars. With the corner coming in and out by Aubrey. Paul is fighting hard. And it is out for a throw in to Young Warriors. Throw in taken. Aubrey was chaffed over there. Oh, that's a bad tackle. I saw that. That's almost a yellow card even on the tackle from the playmaker, Tirange, who has a yellow already on Maharero. I saw that. Very nasty. He doesn't get that yellow. And it still continues 10 versus 10. Imagine if it was 9 versus 9. Have you ever seen a game where it was 9 men versus 9 men? Let us know in the comments. Okakarara have somebody asked how many points they have they have 20 points they are 14th in the league so Orlando Pirates is below them with 17 points and Life Fighters is below on the bottom with 15 points I 
and the team above Okakarara is Jolinho Sporting who also have 20 points another foul which seems to be a head injury to slow poison Javera but he's okay to continue these closing stages are important seconds and the seconds are up and African Stars has won 2-1 to Okakarara Young Warriors wow very intriguing game Okakarara Young Warriors scored first with a goal from Tia apologies sorry the crowd is just getting a little bit restless here Okakarara Young Warriors scored from a goal from their number seven Tia Verua and then African Stars scored two goals in the second half to make it three points for the Red Army thank you for joining us on this live stream please like share and subscribe to African Stars Football TV my name is Emmanuel Nkora see you soon